For those of you who actually can retire one day, this amazingly informative video will give you a sneak peek into what life might be like when you can finally stop having to go to work. And most importantly, we're going to give you some perspective on where life will be like if you follow our advice. I mean, you're almost ready to retire. You don't want to screw it up by not taking the advice of a famous YouTuber, right? So what determines a best place to retire? According to polls, most people mostly want to live next to family and friends when they retire. Well, we can't measure that, but affordable cost of living we can, along with what places have good hospitals, good weather, and a low crime rate. So grab your Tom Clancy novel and or your golf clubs and get the motorhome fired up as we look at the best American states in which to retire. Vroom, vroom. Take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. You better not try to stand in my way cause I'm walking out that door. So take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. So in order to truly see our future retirement states in the right light, we need to travel the way we're going to travel when we retire. So we're going to splurge on this big guy and journey across America in a motorhome, just like we will when we're old and gray. Our first stop, the really pretty state of South Carolina. Yeah, I could retire here for sure. Why, you ask, is South Carolina such an amazing place to retire, potentially? If the mild weather and southern charm of the Palmetto State aren't enough of a retirement draw, the affordability sure should be. On top of below average living costs, the tax situation goes easy on a fixed income in South Carolina, where you have low property taxes, and they don't tax inheritances or social security benefits. In comparison, our least best place to retire worst place to retire is New York, where the cost of living is the third worst in the country. The weather kind of sucks, and it's not very tax friendly at all. Vroom, vroom. Let's fire up the RV and take it all the way up to the Northeast as we pull into the state of New Hampshire, our ninth best state to retire. Man, what an overwhelming landscape. New Hampshire won't break the bank at all. This is one of the cheapest places you can live. And this is where you get the eighth best tax-friendly breaks as a retiree on a fixed income. And grandma and grandpa, you won't have to worry so much about getting your pills stolen since crime is the lowest in the nation here. And another plus, New Hampshire ranks fifth in the US for senior health. But let's get to the most important criteria. What about pickleball? Well, we're glad you asked because in case you're not aware, pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. However, the Northeast and New Hampshire rank really low for pickleball interest and enthusiasm. For some, that might be a deal breaker. We're going to toss our pickleball paddles into the RV and head west, young man. Specifically, the state of Utah, our eighth best state to retire. Hey, back up, people. I'm trying. It's a freaking hill. Go around, would you? Now, if you retire in Utah, you're going to be one of the oldest people in town because Utah is the youngest state by far of any other state we're gonna talk about. Now, Utah does tax social security bennies here, which kind of sucks, but it's safe, relatively drama-free, sunny, and a warmish place with relatively low crime and a ton of outdoor activities. And the few seniors who have decided to retire here are the third wealthiest in terms of their comfort level late into retirement. Utah tiene el quinto más dentitas por cualquier otro estado. What? I don't speak Spanish, dude. What the hell's Mappy? He's sick. Throws up. Mappy's throwing up? Like a bad case of leche or what? Okay, so Juan is all we have for research today? I never thought I'd say this, but I hope Mrs. Mappy shows up soon with some good data before the end of this video. Where are we heading next? South Dakota? Seriously? Okay, I know there's not a single pickleball court in this entire state. I just know it. And we got a flat, damn it. Isn't the weather here horrible? Actually, no, it's only the 11th worst in the US. It could be much, much worse. South Dakota ranks better than most states on everything we measured except the weather. Affordability is the main factor pushing it to the top spot. In addition to low living expenses, including healthcare, South Dakota is one of the 10 best states for taxes on retirees. And the state has run well fiscally too. And your hearing aids aren't deceiving you. 
the Mount Rushmore state performed surprisingly well on culture, ranking 12th in the U.S., partly due to having the second highest number of arts, entertainment, and recreation businesses per person. Now, you might have to drive all day to get to it, but what else do you have to do? You're retired. Our next stop on our retiree spree takes us to Nebraska. Why are we driving so slow? Is this even a road? I think we made a wrong turn back near Iowa. Why should we unpack in Nebraska? Sure, the state has an average annual temperature of 49 degrees, but you can get a big coat, because outside of the weather, it ranked in the top 20 in every category. If you're boring enough to be retired, then you're boring enough to get excited at these fun words, affordability, safety, wellness. Those three words describe Nebraska to a T. Wellness was especially a bright spot in Nebraska. If living really long to watch the corn pop in rows is your sort of thing, then this is your sort of place. Are you starting to get worried that we're going to have you consider retiring in such cold places? Fear not, friend, because we're heading to much warmer climes. Our first warm stop is Georgia. Warm weather and low living costs make Georgia just peachy for a happy retirement destination. Healthcare expenses are particularly affordable for retirees, with the sixth lowest average cost for a retired couple in the country. Plus, Georgia's favorable tax situation makes it one of the 10 best states for taxes on retirees. To be honest, there's some mountain towns in Georgia where you could disappear with a pretty old lady and live off a of deer, maybe some maple buttered biscuits and peas and cream of wheat, and never have to see anybody again. Well, we're on a fixed income, so there's no way we're going to pay to have our RV shipped all the way to our next state, and Mappy's sick, so he can't fly us there again. We're going to just have to look at our next state on our phones. Ooh, Hawaii looks so pretty. Of course, Hawaii is a great place to retire, if you can afford it, because this state has a lot to do to keep a 65 and a half year old, if you're lucky, entertained for the rest of his or her short or maybe not so short lifetime. But the cost of living is just a joke. Hawaii is by far the most expensive state to live in, with an 87% above the U.S. average cost of living. However, taxes are below average, and healthcare costs are surprisingly affordable at 12% below the national average. The hospitals here are great. Seniors in Hawaii are very active, and there's a large amount of community activities. So you could zip around the island on a teeny little car and fit right in. And you know there's pickleball courts everywhere. But we have to imagine it, since we couldn't visit. The average cost a year to retire in Hawaii is $65,000. 65000 a year? That sounds kind of expensive, but not too expensive, actually. That's interesting. Thanks, Mrs. Mappy. Looks like you got your hands full. Mappy's sick, so you're stuck babysitting and working at the same time. Good for you for still showing up to work today. Hawaii also has a low unemployment rate, and you can work in your later years to offset some of those costs. I can't hear you. Sorry, what? I said Hawaii also has a low unemployment rate, so you can... Okay, you know what? Take the kids and go home for the rest of the day. You need some time off. Okay, so we're going to keep this whole warm climate thing going as we hop back into the rig and head across the Gulf Coast over the state of Alabama. And apparently we got a paint job. Retirees are sure to love the heart of Dixie. You can get many of Florida's retirement attractions like warm weather, nice beaches, and plenty of golf, but all at a lower price. The low cost of living in Alabama extends to healthcare, for which retirees can expect to spend 5% less than the average American retired couple. Taxes are easy on the budget too, with income tax rates ranging from just 2% to 5%, and social security benefits being exempt. And we could talk about Alabama a little bit more, but we just got word that there's a damn huge pickleball tournament going on next door in Florida, and we gotta head in that direction anyway. As if you didn't know, Central Florida is the pickleball center of the world, where seniors gather regularly for tournaments. That alone might be enough to entice you into moving to the Sunshine State. If you're looking to party with your pickleball peers until you die, then you're in good company. Florida has the most seniors of all other states, where you'll find a lot of perfume and moo-moos. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. 
But the main attraction for retirees to the Sunshine State must surely be the tax situation. Florida has no state income tax, no estate tax, or an inheritance tax, and it doesn't tax Social Security or other retirement income. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. And in case you hadn't heard, Florida's weather ranks second best in the nation behind Hawaii. But let's be real, this place is a damn swamp for six months a year. So you'd have to decide, would you rather hide inside all summer down here in Florida, or hide inside all winter in places we talked about earlier, like New Hampshire? Or if you're lucky enough to be a snowbird, then you have two homes and go back and forth. But that's not realistic for a lot of people. Time to get in the camper as we head to our number one place to... Okay, who's this weird lady? She wasn't in the RV when we left. YouTube groupie, maybe? All right, time to press on as we set our sights on our number one place to retire, Idaho. Don't hate me, Idaho people. Idaho's affordability makes it easy to stretch your retirement savings. Social security bennies aren't taxed, and Idaho's also one of the states that doesn't have an inheritance or an estate tax. It's peaceful, clean, quiet, and full of friendly people. It's pretty up here, and everyone's the salt of the earth. Fact is, you could retire in hot, crowded Florida like everybody else, or you could pick somewhere that nobody else is going. At least, for now. Okay, these are the best states in America for retirement. The places where you can grow old and comfortably more than anywhere else. And as we always do, let's show the states in America that are the worst for retirement. So that's it. Hope you learned something. If you're looking forward to retiring one day and you needed some ideas, there you go. Now run off and go and check your 401k today. For the third time. The end. And if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being a friend. Dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.